Assalamu alaikum. We will, be, uh, we will talk about section 14.5, surface area. Um, we have already seen how we can use double integrals to calculate area of a region in a plane. But let's see what surface area is all about. So let's say you have a function z equal to f of xy over region r in r squared, right? So basically you have something like this. The function z, right, it makes a surface, right? Like something like this. <clears throat> Let's say like this. Then you take some region here, R, in the input world. Over this region, the surface, if you go over this thing, the surface may look something like this. Right? It may sort of look something like this, depending on how the surface of the earth is. So, we have already seen, when we do double integral of Z F, the double integral of f over the region r will calculate the volume of this solid. But suppose now we want to calculate a different quantity, not this volume. We want to calculate the area of this sur top surface. So again, imagine the analogy we use all the time is the cake or surface of a you know, cake or something and here it's, um, you cut out a shape. The top portion of the cake, right, like something like this, how to calculate the surface area of that, right? So the question is this surface area, we call this surface area, and the question is how do we calculate it? Okay, I will first mention how we calculate it, uh, what's the formula we use, what integral, give you an example, and in the next lecture we'll see why that formula works. So to calculate the area of surface given by z equal to f of xy over r is given by the integral over r of square root 1 plus f sub x xy square plus f sub y x y square square root all of this dA right this is a so we're not going to integrate f of x y if we integrate f of x y over r we're going to end up getting the volume of this solid right but if we integrate this guy this quantity the square root of 1 plus f sub x square plus f sub y square dA over R, then we end up getting this surface area. Okay? Let's do an example. Disk means disk of radius 1 uh, means i.e. x square plus y square less than or equal to 1 in the first quadrant. Okay. Let's try to first visualize this thing. What is, what is going on here? So you have this thing z equals to 2 minus x minus y, so at 0, 0, the value of this, how do we know this is going to be a plane? Because think of it, you can write it as x plus y plus z equal to 2. Any equation ax plus by plus cz equal to d is a plane, a linear equation with three variables uh, gives you a plane. 
So you have here H2, right? And then when x is 2 and y is 0, so this is x axis, y axis, when x is 2, y is 0, then this becomes a 0, z is 0, and on the same on this side. So you get this kind of uh, the portion of the plane um, that is uh, uh, in the octant, the positive x, y, z octant, uh, looks like this you know, triangle in the corner, right? And then um, you have the unit disk. The unit disk, you know, a radius one. So it, like one is right here. Right. Unit disk continues, of course, but we are only in the first quadrant. So let's say this part here. Right. So above that, um, the 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 portion of the plane above that, you know, is basically is something like. Okay, this goes all the way up to origin, so from the origin, and something we project this up, right? We project this up. It's something like this, 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 right? So, um, in the you know, corner of the room, imagine putting a big triangle there, and from the big triangle from the top, taking out a portion like this, the portion that is above the circle that you've drawn in the floor. So the question is, how do we find the area of this thing? Okay. Okay. We will find the area of this thing in the uh, um, in the next uh, next portion of the lecture that continues from here.